What is going on, everyone? This is Nick here again at NJ's Bricks and got a different kind of video for you today. We are going to rate every upcoming Lego release for the month of August 2024. We're going to rate them on a scale of 1 to 10. If you like this content, please like and subscribe down below, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Only about 3% of y'all watching this video right now are subscribed. That is not nearly a high enough number. I would love to see more of you guys subscribe to the channel and see all different kinds of Lego videos in the future. All that being said, let's jump into it. You can see here we have the first set all ready to go. This is a one of a couple of new Animal Crossing sets coming out. 77051 Fly with Dodo Airlines coming in at a price of 38 bucks. It is a shade under 300 pieces, so a little expensive on the parts per piece. One thing I gotta say is if you watched my Animal Crossing video... I was not really impressed with any of these sets on an individual level. However, when you put them all together and you can organize them in such a way as to build your own island, just like in the game, it really brings the whole thing together as a cohesive set of sets. And I would definitely, if you're a fan of Animal Crossing, recommend getting all the sets because individually they don't display particularly well, but they're going to look great together and you're going to get obviously all these different characters that you're going to want um five previous sets from them so yeah that is fly with dodo airlines i'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven i was going to give it a six but i really like this minifigure here moving on this is the second animal crossing set coming out this is kk's concert at the plaza it's a little bit bigger than the other set it's going to cost you 80 dollars at just 550 pieces which I got to tell you, the prices on some of these Animal Crossing sets are tough. Now, I know they're paying licensing fees, and on top of that, they have these beautiful minifigures with custom molded headpieces, so I understand a bit some of the costs associated with producing these sets, but the prices are a little hard to stomach for what you get. I mean, look at all this here. This looks like a set that you're paying like $30 for, you know, as far as the scale of it, and it's a, got an $80 price tag, so kind of hard to stomach. But again, if you get all the Lego Crossing sets together, you're going to be really pleased. You're going to be able to build your own island, have a lot of figures. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a six. I do love the KK slider, though, and this Fox character looks pretty sweet. Moving on, we got a few sets from the Dreams series. This one here, the Never Witches Midnight Raven, $100 for a 1,200-piece set. See, and that's what you get. When you're not paying licensing fees, this is a Lego intellectual property here, the Dreams line. You can get 1,200 piece sets for $100. You're not going to see that with Animal Crossing or Disney or Mario or what have you, but in Lego's own IP, you can do that. You're going to get, uh, looks like four or five cool minifigures here. I uh, love that they have one in a wheelchair that's super cool. A lot of great representation. Really, really digging this puffy vest piece i don't know if i've ever seen that before let me know in the comments below have they made this puffy vest before do they have it in red i think that's a really awesome piece i'd love to get that to put on some custom minifigures that would be sweet this is a cool looking set i really haven't done any of the dream sets but i think they're all pretty awesome looking is there a show that ties into this i i don't know the answer to that either um but 1200 piece set at 100 bucks looking super cool I'm going to go ahead and give this one a solid seven. This is a nice looking set. If you're into dreams, go ahead and pick that one up if you can afford it. Uh, this is another dreams set. This one looks almost like Ninjago a bit more, mostly due to the red and orange color scheming to me. But this is Cooper's Robot Dinosaur C-Rex, $80 for a 900 piece set. That's, again, a solid rate. You're also going to get five minifigures in this one, I guess four technically. Speaking of the red puffy vest. That's awesome. I again, I don't know. Let me know if these have pre existed before these dream sets, but the puffy vest looks sweet. This little uh, creature here looks awesome. And yeah, I like the look of this set. Awesome dinosaur mech. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven as well. This is a really solid looking set. All right. I believe this is the last new dreams set coming out. Mateo and Z Blob, the night battle mech. $130 for a 1333 piece set. That's not too bad. A solid rate once more. And if you're into Lego mechs, this one definitely looks pretty cool. It's not really my style. It almost looks like a transformer. A lot of these rounded edges and stuff here like imply that they could be things like wheel wells or what have you if it were to transform into a car. But I don't believe that's what's going on here. Looks like you're going to get, again, four minifigures. 
couple of different creatures. Here's that puffy vest piece in gray now. Really love the different coloring uh, introduced with those. Uh, do they have a green one? That'd be pretty sweet. But yeah, that's another solid looking set if you're into the Dreams line. I don't like it quite as much as the last set. I'm going to give this one, this one's just a five for me. It's pretty pricey and it's a little weird looking to me. I'm not really a mech person, but if you are into mechs, then you're going to want that one. All right, we get a couple uh, from the Botanical Collection here. This is the Chrysanthemum, and it does look really nice. I like what they've done here with some of the shapes and how they've built the actual mum, but it doesn't really make sense. As my girlfriend pointed out, mums grow in like a large bush with a bunch of them. You wouldn't really see like individual mums in a solo flower pot like this, so a bit of a weird choice. I like the the design of all of this down here, but I'm not sure that it makes sense with a chrysanthemum. I'm going to give this set a four. This one's a four for me. Uh Oh, wow. All right, and the second set coming here in the Botanical Collection is the Plum Blossom. 327 piece set for $30. That's pretty solid. And I actually love the look of this one. It's got the same base design going as the chrysanthemum, but it makes much more sense for the actual plant itself. I love the zigs and zags here of the stems and the blooms look really great. I think this is one we may be adding to our collection. I'm gonna give this one a seven. All right, up next we have a new iteration on the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Milano ship from the first film. I believe the first film, maybe the second one. Either way, this is one of Chris Pratt's Star Lord's ships. This is a 2090 piece set for $180. Kind of surprising sometimes the piece counts they are able to cram into these licensed Marvel sets. It does seem that the straight up Disney sets seem to have more of a licensing fee built into them, even though all of it's owned by Disney. But at any rate, looks like you're going to get uh, four minifigures here, technically five, because you have this extremely adorable baby Groot and... It's a good looking ship. It's nicer than the previous models. I have never built one before, but this one looks uh, like it has better fidelity than previous models. It looks like you got a nice sticker piece here. This is probably printed on the uh, cockpit dome there. Overall, I'm gonna give this set. Uh, I'm gonna give this set a seven, and I'm actually I'm gonna bump it up to an eight solely for the eggs. That's a cool picture. Bump it up to eight solely for the existence of this beautiful little baby Groot right here. I think that's awesome, and that's going to give the set an 8 for me. Got a few more Marvel sets here. Here's a tiny little one. Iron Man with Bike and the Hulk. This is probably like, oh, it's not even, I was going to guess it's like a poly bag. I mean, it's only 68 pieces. It's about the size you would put in a poly bag. So very, very basic build for small children here, ages 4 plus, you can see. It comes with two awesome minifigures. Some adults are even going to want this one just for these nice Iron Man and Hulk minifigures here. Like the dual molded legs on this. Love the printing on the Iron Man. Only 15 bucks. This would be an A grade for me. This one's going to be a 9 out of 10. Of course, the build is pretty lackluster, but if you're just getting a young one into Lego and you want to get them something manageable, it fits the bill for that. And if you want to get two awesome minifigures for 15 bucks, if you're older, it fits the bill for that. So I think this one at this price hits the mark. If it was 20 plus dollars, I'd be out. But as it stands, 9 out of 10, I think this is a great little set here for superheroes. Looks like we get another baby set here, slightly bigger than the last one and slightly more complex. 135 pieces for ages 6 and up. So, you know, if you got two little ones, you know, 5 and 7, something like that, these might be two great little pickups. This is a $20 set here. Uh, again, it's a bit more pieces. It comes with four minifigures at $20, which is a great price. And for me, this is going to be another 9 out of 10. One thing you're going to notice with me is a lot of these sets that are just great value for small prices, even if they're not super complex or interesting in the builds, if they look like they're fun to play with and they're great to get the young ones into Lego and providing some interesting minifigures, they're going to get good scores from me. This is the Avengers versus the Leviathan. This is from the original Avengers film, $49.99 for a 347-piece set, so a bit hard to stomach there, but you can see some of the cost must be built into this big fig hulk. Got some large custom molded pieces. Well, custom previously, they have existed, but 
These large molded pieces are not easy to make and they are expensive to produce. That's why you see some of the higher prices on sets that include them. I do like the flexibility here of the Leviathan. That is actually like really how it moves in the film. I kind of really like this large mechanical snake because that is what it is. And I like how they've replicated that at scale here. You get six far, sorry. You got five minifigures here. Uh, a couple of them with multiple face printings. You get a Hulk big fig. The price is a little difficult for me. If this was $40 or $38, and this set would be getting an eight or a nine for me at $50, uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and give this one a six because I think um, I think the building of this Leviathan here is a little overcomplicated for what the set ends up being as a play structure or play piece uh i think if they could have made this a little bit less complicated and got the price closer to 35 or 38 dollars uh it'd be more of a success to me here we have the avengers assemble age of ultron this is a hundred dollars for a 613 piece set so yeah you know where you were getting a great value over two thousand pieces in that milano for a buck 80 just 600 pieces here for a hundred dollars it's a little tough to stomach i do think this set looks really cool as a small desk or shelf display piece. I think it works really well. There's some action going on in it, which I really enjoy. You can kind of see the movement as it's just standing still, the way they have this cocked up and the way you can pose the different minifigures, I think is awesome. It comes with a bunch of minifigures, one, two, three, four, five, a big fig Hulk and three Hydra henchmen. So that's gonna come in nine minifigures total. So I can see why it has the $100 price tag you see that in some of the simpler Star Wars sets sometimes where you get a high price tag compared to what you get for the build because you have a number of minifigures. I would love to see this set be, again, a little bit cheaper. If they could have got this set down to $85, it probably would have got something like a 9 from me. At $100, bucks, i am going to give it a 7. I still think it's a really nice looking set. You get a bunch of good minifigures, but I think it's a little lacking in the, the piece count and the scale for a $100 set. Moving on now, we have a couple of more sets coming from the Marvel line here. This is the Avengers Helicarrier. They've done a number of versions of this set in the past, and this one is looking like one of the most realistic or accessible to me. It is about in the same scale of the Star Wars ships that have come out over the last few months that are uh, more of a micro scale. And I think for the majority of people, this scale is going to work so much better for them than a giant UCS scale. The UCS sets are fun to build. And they look really impressive if you can display them. But the reality is that most people don't have the space to display sets that large. So something that is more along the lines of this scale makes a lot more sense for the majority of people. And for that, uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and give this set an 8. A little lackluster on the piece count again for the price. But I think it's going to display really well. It looks awesome and it's not taking up a ton of space going to be an eight for me for the helicarrier if they could have got this price down to like 65 dollars, this would be a 10 out of 10 set for me all right this is a really cool looking one this is dancing root 44.99 for a 459 piece set so that's right about on the 10 cent price per brick mark and we got some printed groots here uh printed groots <laughs> printed bricks i am groot a couple guardians of the galaxy ones right here and this is like uh baby Groot as he's grown up in his little pod he doesn't even have his own legs yet this is really cute uh I think it's not too expensive and it's probably pretty complex to build overall it looks like a lot of little pieces a lot of different angles so I think this one's solid right here if it were any more expensive I don't think it would be very popular but I do think some folks are going to pick this one up at 45 bucks and I will give this one a six overall I think a lot of solid looking sets here nothing that I'm I'm too appalled with some of you are probably giving those little baby sets bad scores because it's just not doing it for you but I think those are an important part of the Lego line here we have a Minecraft set and licensing fees on Minecraft must be cheap because you're getting a $90 set here that has almost 1200 pieces in it granted a lot of the pieces are small so that's why they can give you 1200 pieces for 90 bucks however this micro scale type of Minecraft build uh, I think is really cool this is a cube type display piece this is building a whole little world in Minecraft in micro scale that you can display with some micro scale Minecraft characters. 
really cool how they get these tiny printings on these little pieces. I don't know how they do it, but I'm always impressed with Lego's manufacturing. Of course, they have one of the highest accuracy and standard necessities of, you know, any manufactured toy product. I've seen a lot of Lego mock builders. Oh, are these like alternate builds or are those in addition or they come out? Oh, I see. They're like, they all, they come out in as smaller builds. I think that's the case. I think if they come out, these all like stack together inside of there. This set looks really cool, man. I'm not a Minecraft fan. Um, you know, I never played the game, but I do think it's pretty neat. And I love what they've done here, building up this little world inside of here that you can break down into smaller pieces. At $90, this is going to be tedious to build for you who don't like dealing with little parts. That's me. I probably would not have a good time building this one, but I think it looks great. It's going to give you ample building time, most likely, for the price. And I'm going to give this one an A. This looks like a really solid set. If you're into Minecraft, uh, I think this is going to be one you'll want. Moving on now, we've got some Speed Champions. This is the Ferrari F40 Supercar. This is a classic right here, 27 bucks, 318 pieces. And I don't buy the Speed Champion sets, but people that are into them tend to get like all of them. And I understand why. They're pretty accessible price-wise. They have a lot of stickers, which I don't love. That's one of the reasons I don't buy these sets um, or many of the cars in general. But I do think it looks really great. The price is right. If you have younger kids that are car fans, you know, you need to pick them up a birthday gift Christmas, $27. It's going to take them a couple of hours. They're going to have a good time doing it. It's going to look good on the shelf afterwards. This one right here is a 9 out of 10. This is a great set. And moving on to another speed champion, this is the next-gen Chevy Camaro ZL1. I did the Technic version of this car a little while back, and it did look cool, but I hate building Technic. So didn't really love the build process on it, but this one's... Again, $27 for a 328-piece set. That's a good value there. It does appear to have a ton of stickers, like more than the other set. And I will say that this front end here looks a little wonky. Um, from the side, the side profile, pretty nice. But this, again, these angles here, just didn't, it didn't come out quite right for me. This set is going to be a four. If you, if this, I don't know if this is a specific driver's library. I don't think so. I think they've made this guy up. Great minifigure, by the way, um, but the colors not really doing it for me. The lines and angles not really doing it for me. Yeah, that's a that's a four. You know, there's some nice things going on there, and I can see some people that would like it and why, but I, I'm not a fan. Moving on to some Star Wars sets, Ahsoka Tano's Duel on Peridia, $55 for a 382-piece set is kind of tough, and I got to say... A number of these, uh, you know, made for display sets don't make a ton of sense for the piece to like the scale size. Like I, I shouldn't say they don't make sense. They do make sense to me. I understand why they're priced at what they are, but a lot of the, I mean, even this one, 382 pieces and the majority of the piece count here is just building this base. You know, like half the piece count of this whole set is just to build this overcomplicated base. And that's one of the problems I have with the art sets. You know, the art sets are like all over a thousand pieces. And then, you know, three, four hundred of those pieces is just to build this overcomplicated frame that goes that goes around the art. And it's just, I mean, if you're into that, that's cool. But to me, that's like the most impractical way, you know, to like, they should just give you the art piece and you frame it yourself or not. I, I don't know. They're just, I, those sets don't do it for me for that reason. And I have kind of the same complaint here where it's a small scale set and then a bunch of the pieces are just into making this complicated base. I will say where you have to give this set points, the minifigures are out of control. Um, crazy Ahsoka tunnel here, an immense amount of printing and detail all up and down this thing. Uh, and again, some excellent print details in Ezra, believe this is Morgan Elsbeth. Uh, you got Thrawn here. Finally, we're getting a new Thrawn. He should have had dual molded legs the whole time. The original one's a bajillion dollars because we hadn't seen a new one, but we're finally getting it. And of course, this is one of his like a uh, sp special kind of trooper here. I don't know the name for these. Let me know in the comments below if they did they name this kind of trooper in the Ahsoka show. So, you know, 10 out of 10 minifigures for sure. But as a whole set, uh, I'm going to have to give it a 7 out of 10. And if the minifigures were not so fire, this would be getting like a 5. The minifigures are doing all the lifting here. 
you're getting five awesome ones for your $55 price tag, so I can't complain there. Should have an Enoch, though. I don't know why. He would have been so cool. They, they better be giving us Enoch in, a new, in another set. So this is one of the sets I'm most excited for, the Dark Falcon. Uh, this is $180 for a little under 1,600 pieces, so a bit expensive on the price per piece front, but crazy unique minifigures to this set. I think that, that if I'm correct, there's some kind of animated series coming up that's almost like a what if, but for Star Wars with some kind of like alternate universe, alternate reality outcomes. And so you've got characters like Darth Jar Jar in there and Darth Rey. Um, you've got a white Vader here, you know, like, I think this is supposed to be like Luke on the beach. Don't know this character. Maybe this is like a dark three PO. It appears to be, but overall, I just love that. It's a different take on a classic. They've done so many different Falcons that all pretty much just look like the Falcon. So I love that we're getting something different here with this set. I love the minifigures. It's definitely expensive. Um, but I think it's going to look really cool. I'm going to give this set a 7 out of 10, uh, almost an 8 for me, but no half step in here. I'm going to have to stick with a 7, but I think this is a cool looking set, and this is one of the ones I might pick up for myself. Now, this is a really uh, neat set here. This is the Creative Play Droid Builder, and I did think it was super neat until I looked at the price tag here. Um, $100 for 1,200 pieces is not bad, but you're basically getting four perhaps some would say needlessly complicated brickheads. I mean, they appear to be a bit bigger than brickheads in scale, but not by a ton. And you're basically like have these droids you can play dress up with. And they're trying to show, you know, that this would be great for younger kids that want to do something wacky and zany, but it's also carrying a $100 price tag. Um, so I feel like you just need a lot of buy in here. You need kids that are in a Star Wars, kids that think playing dress up, you know, is fun kids that want to build Lego and, you know, then you need to have a hundred dollars. Um, I do love the little Lola droid here. I hadn't seen that brick. So that printed brick is awesome. I uh, enjoy that. But overall, this set's going to be, this is sets of four for me. This is a weird set. I don't think this set is going to sell well. I do think when this thing goes on sale for like $60 after it doesn't sell well, that's when you want to pick it up. I think it's worth it at that price tag, especially for the piece count. But the set doesn't do it for me. Up next here, we have TIE Fighter and X-Wing mashup, 110 bucks for 1,060 pieces. That's not bad. We have some nice looking minifigures here. One, two, three, four, five of them, including this McDonald's looking astromech droid there. That's interesting. Not sure if I really like that, but I do love a unique astromech droid. Don't know who these other characters are, uh, but this is a really interesting looking set. It is nice how there's two different ships. Oh, I see. You could sell so you could show people working on the ships. Um this is they're making like an X-Wing. Oh, I mean it is. It's TIE Fighter and X-Wing mashup. That makes sense. So it's kind of interesting how you can put the two different ships together. Uh that does make it unique, although it looks super cursed now that I'm looking at it. That's cursed. That's a cursed picture. Uh there's been a bunch of sets that have TIE Fighters and X-Wings in them. But I kind of like the scale of these. These look really, really whooshable. Fly these things around, you know. So it looks like a great play set for that. But it does carry a $110 price tag. Uh, so that's a little bit tough. I'm going to go ahead and give this set a 6. It's tough for me sometimes when they put sets that look like they would be great for play. And they give them a price tag of over $100. I mean, I know it's 2024 kind of is what it is but you want to see for me i want to see the sets that are intended to be played with pick up the ship fly it around the room i want to see those sets be 50 bucks and less so you know i guess they could have split this up into two and then you don't get the mashup thing you could have each of your kids build one of the ships that's you know it's not bad but it's like it's a six we have a new imperial star destroyer and right off the rip uh i i don't care about anything with how good it looks and the price and piece I'm giving this set a three. And the reason I'm giving this set, I want to swear. The reason I'm giving this set a three, and I'm not going to swear, obviously, because that would be rude. I'm giving this set a three because I don't understand how this isn't the Chimera. The Ahsoka series just came out. We saw Thrawn's ship featured prominently. It is one of these ships with all kinds of weird and cool details. A lot of like maroon coloring on it. 
Um, and it's got like a bunch of like gold bits because it was like forged back together after being broken in spots. And I don't understand how this isn't the Chimera. Why did we get the battle on Peridia and get some of those minifigures there when this should have been a Chimera with Thrawn, a few of those night troopers or whatever they are with the wrappings on them, Enoch, you know, Elsbeth could have been in that set. Is this Cal Kestis minifigure here? I mean, that's cool. I don't know all the characters in these minifigures here, but I'm giving this set a three because we don't need another regular Star Destroyer. We've had a million Star Destroyers that are regular. Why did they not give us the Chimera? It's disappointing to me. I guess maybe they're going to do a UCS Chimera. That could be coming down the pipeline. But it doesn't make sense to me that we would get another basic, bland, gray, monotone Star Destroyer when they could have gave us the Chimera. Disappointed. Next year, we have the Desert Skiff and Sarlacc Pit. $80 for 558 pieces is kind of tough. There's a cool Ugnaught minifigure here and a few other minifigures here. Of course, we have um, Lando in his disguise. We have Han, Luke. We have Chewbacca. And this Boba Fett they've been making for a while that has a ton of nice printing on it. Always like to see that minifigure pop up. I like the robe, the gray on black printing there with Luke as well. Um, so some solid minifigures in this set. And the Sarlacc opens up, so that's a cool play feature. Um, but I do think it's just too expensive for the price. This scale-wise, I mean, this doesn't display well. Like, on your shelf, this isn't looking impressive. This is geared towards play, but it's $80. So, again, I want to see these sets that are geared towards play be in the $50 range or less, you know, or slightly more. But 80 is too expensive. This set's going to be a 5. Nice minifigures. I could leave the rest of it. This is the new C-3PO. Now, I'll tell you right off the rip, I love this set. I think it looks awesome. It scales perfectly with the R2-D2 that came out either earlier this year or late last year, the one that has uh, Darth Reven with it. You get a great minifigure with this one as well. Love the silver leg. I think this looks great, but $140 is, you know, it's a little expensive. It's 1138 pieces, so it's a bit expensive in a part per piece basis. But it does look complicated. It looks like they spent a lot of time on the design. They got a lot of the choices correct. I think it is a really good looking and well scaled model. But for $140, it's a little pricey to me. Uh, I'm going to give this set a six. If it was closer to the 120 range, it would have got another point out of me. Um, but a six it is. All right, now we get a bunch of Mario sets. And these are going to be kind of hard for me to grade because I think there's a similar thing going on with the Mario sets as there is with the Animal Crossing sets, which is that it's intended for you to have a bunch of them and put them together to like build your own level. Uh, so that's why they have these bases here that you can stick together with the 2x2 two two or 2x4 two plates. Um, got some Goombas with this one. For $15, again, these sets are like 20 bucks and less. It's going to be hard for me to give them too bad of a grade unless they just simply don't need to exist. But my guess is, if you're building in the Mario theme, getting three Goombas and this little play feature tile here to incorporate into your level is probably going to be worth 15 bucks. Uh, uh, it's not, you know, a knock it out of the park set, um, but I this one's got to get at least a six for me. It looks like a solid set. Love the printed Goomba tiles and the different faces they give you. Uh, so if you got the Mario theme, you're definitely picking that one up. And if you have the Mario theme, you're almost certainly picking this one up. Look at this thing. Uh, 598 pieces for a $55 set. That's completely reasonable. Looks like there's a multitude of play features. I love the giant caterpillar here. You get a pipe, um, some trees in the background. Like, like there's 598 pieces here, but there's a lot of big pieces in this set. It's not like the Minecraft set that had, you know, 1,200 and they're all one by one pieces. So I'm really impressed with this set. We got a nice shy guy uh, built figure here in pink and a lot of cool little details that can add some life to your Mario themed setup or display. Uh, or even just playing with these. So I'm going to go ahead and give this set an A. This one looks really solid. If you're in the Mario theme, you're almost certainly going to pick this one up. Again, a play-based set. Lots of value here. $55. Uh, this is a hit for me. This is a good one. We got another Mario set here for $50. Just 218 pieces, which is, which is tough. Uh, most of it is in the cost of these figures here with the printed pieces. We have Mario, Yoshi, and that looks like a baby Bowser there. Um, if this set was 30 bucks, it'd be a slam. 
at 50 bucks, it's a bit tough, man. I know there's some large pieces in here. I know there's a lot of prints here. Uh, but for 218 pieces for $50 and the overall look and scale of the set is not going to done for me. I'm going to have to give this set a four. Moving on here. This is very similar to the other set we just looked at. It's almost the same thing. Just some different characters. $50, 210 pieces. You're getting Luigi in this one. A couple other characters and it's a four. And this is again, $50 shade over 200 pieces couple of different characters alongside a main character. And I know the cost of these is really you're paying a premium to get the main, these main characters. And if you want to build out in the Mario theme, you're going to need those characters. So if you're willing to go into it, you're kind of opting in to pay that price, but it's just too expensive uh, for. All right, moving on. We have some Technic sets here. You, If you see my channel, you know I hate building these, but you also know I think the value is great. You're getting 801 pieces here. You're getting a really complicated, well-engineered build process with like engine parts and stuff to the generally drivetrains that generally function to an extent um, and, you know, doors that function and everything. So it's hard to give these bad grades. I personally don't like Technic, so I'd give it like a two because I'm not interested in building it. But I think the value that you get if you're a Technic fan, if you're a car fan, you can turn the wheels with this up here. You know, like the mechanisms are so complicated. I'm going to have to go ahead and give this one a seven, seven or an eight. It's, I mean, it's close. It just is a great value. You're going to get a multiple, you know, like a multitude of hours, you know, probably three or four because these things are pretty complicated, even at 800 pieces, maybe even longer if you're taking your time for $50. So it's really hard to give that a bad grade. That's good. I'm going to give it a seven because I think it's not the most interesting looking car. Um, but for build experience, if you're into Technic, that's a good value. We've got another Technic set here. This is the Emirates Team New Zealand AC75 Yacht. And this is an awkward set. It's $120 for under a thousand pieces. And it seems super niche. How many people are into yacht racing? I mean, cars has, I got to imagine a much wider audience this is a bizarre one for me. Do they really think this set's going to sell much? I feel like you're going to see this set on sale for 60 bucks, half price, within like six months of it being released. I think this set's like a three. This set, it's so niche. Some people are going to love this set, but I can imagine like 99% of LEGO fans are just not interested in this set at all, especially at that price. All right, continuing on here, we're down to just the last few sets this is the Volvo FMX truck and EC230 electric excavator. This is a $200 set, but it is 2,200 pieces. It's got motorized parts. It's a truck and an excavator with a trailer. Technic fans, I think, are going to go crazy for this one. Anytime you get motorized stuff, that's always a hit. An excavator, I mean, this thing looks like it moves on multiple axes. That's super cool. Uh, the amount of engineering that has to go into these sets and then for them to still offer you, you know, over, uh, I should say, under 10 cent um, cost per piece. I think this one's a great value. Um, it's not going to be on the menu for me again because I just don't like building Technic. But if you have a kid that's into building Technic, this is going to take up a lot of their time. And then when they're done building it, they get to play with it in a number of different ways. So it's hard to vote no on this set here. This is This is an eight you know, almost a nine here because of the amount of value in both build and play that I know a kid is going to get out of it. It's $200, of course, like this is a specific audience for this set, but the audience for this set is absolutely going to love it. I'm going to give it an eight. And we got another Technic car here. This is one of the larger scale ones. This is $170 for only 830 pieces. That is rough. So what is going on? There's got to be something else going on here. There's, I mean, because we just looked at, you know, a $50 set with an 800 piece count. So let me go down here. Oh, okay. So this car is literally remote controlled. So there you have it. Well, I think that's awesome. And I know that you're getting a ton of the value out of the build and the cost to produce these parts. Sure. This has to be geared towards adult enthusiasts because for parents, you can buy your kid a remote control car for 20 bucks. Do they get to put it together? No. Is it as fancy, like, you know, as an entire, an overall product? No. But they're going to be able to drive that thing around for 20 bucks. Do you really want to spend $170 just to see your kid smash this thing 
into the kitchen cabinets over and over again? Probably not. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give this set a five. I really am having a hard time evaluating this set. I know there's a lot of features to it that make it, um, you know, cost what it does for the piece count. But I'm gonna have to wait and see on this one. Have they done other remote control cars like this before? Let me know in the comments below if they have. But I have a hard time imagining that it's worth doubling the price per piece um, just to get the remote control functionality out of it. Here we have a the Mer <clears throat> here we have the Mercedes Benz G500 Professional line, another Technic vehicle, two hundred and fifty dollars for a twenty eight piece set. No remote control action going on here. And if you're into the bigger Technic vehicles, this one looks great. I mean, it's a very accurate uh, to the actual look and scale of the Mercedes Benz G500. Uh, comes in a compelling color. Looks like there's a lot of intricacies in the build. I love the extra tire on the back here. That looks super great. It's very big. I mean, look at the scale of this thing compared to the person building it. So it's definitely impressive in size and will display well. If you're into Technic, this is probably going to be a hit for you. This is this is like, for me, this would be like a two because I'm never building this set ever. But for Technic fans that are looking, you know, for more options within this line, this is probably a hit. This is like a six or a seven for you guys. And then last but not least, we have the NASA Apollo Lunar Roving Vehicle, the LRV. This is two hundred twenty dollars for a nineteen hundred piece set, and I gotta be honest with you, this thing just looks like a hoopty. Like I know it's like the idea of it's cool that you can sit in it and drive around this little rover when you're on, uh, you know, the moon or whatever. That looks dope, and there's definitely you know historical implications alongside it, and it's quite large, so all of that is impressive, but. I don't think this one's going to catch on. This is not one of the space ones to me that looks like it's going to be uh, widely coveted by folks. All these folding features, like no doubt to the engineering of this, the engineering of this thing looks crazy impressive, but I just don't see it being a big hit with Lego fans. This one is probably like a four, a four for me as well. So there you have it, everybody. That was all of the Lego sets that are going to be coming out in August 2024. Those are my thoughts on them. Uh, I think there's a lot of great releases coming out this month. I think there's a lot of hits on the table. There's a little bit of everything for everyone, I think. Didn't see any uh, like Disney type stuff, but we did just get a cool seven uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs set. So, you know, that should satiate those fans for a while. Maybe I'll do another video on the September sets. You'll have to let me know in the comments below if you guys like this format of video. Haven't done one quite like this before, but thought I'd just put my thoughts out there on the sets that are coming up. Like and subscribe below, guys, if you enjoyed this content. I would really appreciate it, and I'll see you next Sunday with a new video.